What up? It's your boy, BGZ. All right, I'm never doing an intro like that again. Today is gonna be a little bit of a yap sesh. We're gonna go over two main things. One, Drift Masters. I qualified for once, that's pretty crazy. And also an update on Boundless Racing. So let's get right into it. All right, so before we get really into it, uh, I bought a widescreen for my monitor because I'm trying to test what's the best sim setup in terms of monitors and stuff. Like, I can get a VR and some triples too, just to see what's the best. I'm trying to test, right? For me, I've driven on a single screen. Hold on. Specifically, this single screen for the past five years, right? To say the least, switching to a widescreen from a 32 inch it's like if you drove a s14 your whole life for five years and then you switch to a ctsv wagon completely different and i'm getting it like i qualified for vdm which i was kind of shocked because that's the first time for drift masters this year it's been rough for that okay qualified 32nd <laughs> which isn't any better but it's okay We'll get into that shortly. It's just learning where to place the car, all that fun stuff. It's been a fun challenge. Well, when you're trying to compete at a high level, it kind of sucks to relearn things on the fly. We learn. And I'm getting better every day. So that's all that counts. But I'll put this back. Hold on. Qualified with an 89.5, which landed me in 32nd. Not great. But I was feeling confident because really, I'm more of a battles driver to be honest here, which is perfectly fine. It's, uh, it's, it's still kind of suck though, because, um, we'll, we'll just get into it. So as you can see, here's my bracket, my top left, right? I had Hauge, Jakim Hauge. I, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Qualified first. He's qualified first last two or three events. Pretty consistent. And if I got past him, I'd be against either Simon Sandman or Ernestus Jacobellis. It's pretty good. So uh, we had our work cut out for ourselves, to say the least. So we move into here. Briefing, they really emphasize don't add a lot of angle, um, extra angle coming through certain zones and to just, you know, have consistent angle, which is what I've been practicing the whole time. So that's fantastic. Chasing here, I was kind of scared, uh, which you will see by my driving. Why is the stream quality so bad? Can we improve this a little bit? Here you go, top 32 battle on the line. It's going to be Norway versus America. Jonathan, you go. You know these guys like the back of your hand. We'll be through this first battle. Right, you got Hog out here and Brandon Gardner, in Brandon Gardner in the chase. Brandon Gardner is trying to keep that proximity right off the rip from outer zone one to two. And three is a nice transition from both drivers. Now the proximity of Brandon Gardner just trying to stay in that fight. Here comes that big, big sweep and turn on that final outer zone. A little bit of a bobble from Brandon Gardner. So if we watch this replay, right, coming up, I wasn't expecting them to be so slow. So usually I would have filed right to get right behind him on the bumper to flick with him but what happened was i didn't notice how slow he was coming out of the gate so i got caught off by it and i had to do a weird like hybrid sideways to single file thing i didn't enjoy it it was very awkward he was going very slow and i thought i was smacking into him so i pulled out a decent bit of angle like he is full on 90 degrees so comes through here Again, if we can see here, he does add on angle through this OZ2, which you're not supposed to do. You can see at the very end, he had an angle. So it throws me off. I get kind of caught out. I'm like, well, this isn't fun. I get on him, try to get on him through the, the last couple zones. And I'm like, well, it's time to lock in, bud. What are we doing? So my lead run, to say the least, I try to lock in. And, well... It, it goes pretty decently, like, I get a couple car lengths on him, and I'm holding angle, I'm not trying to, like, run away from him or nothing, I'm just doing my thing, and to spoil it, we go OMT. The OMT was, quite frankly, horrible. So, I'm just gonna skip to it, so we can get out the way. Spoiler alert, you can see by the title of the video, I failed, and I didn't get through. 32 because this happened so he comes in lots of angle he adds angle 
through that zone, which as I said before, he, they specified not to do that. And so I smacked the wall, which wasn't great because again, I was like on the left foot the whole time. I just couldn't go anywhere. I left foot too hard, pulls me back. It's my fault, right? I'm not blaming Jaquim here or Joaquim or however you say his name. No disrespect. I genuinely don't know, don't know how to say your name. I don't know. It's like I should have adapted better to the lead drive. Even though they said, you know, don't add angle through that zone. And he did. If I wouldn't have hit the wall, it wouldn't have gone into the judge's hands. It would have just gone either me or not. So there wouldn't have been any like discussions of, oh, who's at fault, et cetera, et cetera. They deemed me at fault, but there wouldn't have been any discussion if I didn't hit the walls. But we got one more round. It's at a track that's super dope. It's in a stadium. I've driven it before. So I'm super excited for that. All right, enough said with that. Now I really want to get into the yap sesh that I'm about to have about boundless racing, which if you don't know what it is, it's my new automotive focused company. Now, if you know me, you may not. I have been a big business guy. I love me business. I love the game of business. And I ran a marketing agency. The issue with the marketing agency, I was making money with it, all was well, but it didn't really fulfill me. It's not what I wanted to do. And it may seem all like woo woo and oh, you're trying to do something. You I wanna do something in my life that makes an impact on people that I feel is impactful, that I can do. The marketing agency side of things, I was very much in the space of like internet gurus. As much as I hate to say it, it happened. I'll admit it. And so I really wanna get out of that. and get out of that high school popularity contest of who can make the most money and oh do this 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 and this it's like i understand now how to run a business and how to build a business and now i want to do it where i impact the thing that i fucking love the most which is cars so see this whiteboard i'm about to pull it close and we're about to get into it all right so we got the whiteboard and the expo marker of truth and we're going to be breaking down the boundless racing master plan. So Boundless Racing, as I said before, it's the new company I have started, which is an automotive focused company. And there are four pillars of the company, four verticals, if you will, for all my business people out there that I want to take this company to. Now, of course, we're not going to make it to the big leagues in two months. Not how this works, not how business works. You can't rush Good things Rome wasn't built in a day. I perfectly understand that. However, I am moving with speed and brevity. So first things first, bullet points. And also here, first things first, community. Now, community was launched back in July. So community, there are two tiers, both of which are a little more of an intimate experience within the Assetto Corsa sphere. So really wanting to hit close with the Assetto Corsa home. Um, I feel the, there's a lot of paid communities out there in Assetto Corsa, but not a lot of them really bring the A game, the value, the good stuff that people want. And I want to fulfill on that. We have two tiers, one for $7 a month and one for $21 a month. The $7 per month is just for cars and servers. So I originally had just the $21 per month one, which we'll get into shortly, but $7 a month gets you cars and servers and also a driving day called Sideways Saturdays. Um, it'll be called something different when I go to FD because it'll have to be on a Tuesday. But essentially it's for car enthusiasts, sim enthusiasts alike. Um, to have a more intimate experience, get really good cars, private servers, all that fun stuff. Now, you may be thinking, Brandon, why is this not free? Trust me, if this could be free, I would make it free. And eventually, I want this tier to be free. I don't want anyone paying me this. But right now, I have to pay for cars, I have to pay for servers, I have to pay for other things to make this run. And as I said, I wish I could make it free, but unfortunately, I can't be burning cash because that's not how business works. We can't just be going in the negative for nothing. So I try to make it as affordable as possible. $7 a month, 
cars and servers, you get about two to five cars per month, depending on the month. Um, and then always those private servers for pro cars and street cars, all of which we make. Next thing, $21 a month. This comes with coaching and VIP experience. Um, this is the more intimate sort of thing. So you get courses on how to start building your personal brand, how to start marketing the businesses. Now, some of it might be a little straightforward, but some of it is higher level. It's really for the people who are wanting to start taking things more seriously, right? People who I would say have less than 10,000 followers and people who really haven't gotten their first sponsor yet. And then also the VIP access, we have servers and a chat that you can hang out in. Um, got a few people in there. I think we're at like 50 people now in this option. So, you know, super cool building a nice tight knit community, just getting better at drifting, loving cars, loving racing, all that fun stuff. So we have gone over community. Next thing I wanna talk about, lifestyle clothing. Now you may be thinking, well, Brandon, why in the hell are you making a clothing brand? Well, here's the thing. I like cars, I like to wear clothes because I don't want to be naked all the time. The thing is, a lot of car clothing is frankly ugly. So I have teamed up with some designers to make some dope designs. You know, not just your run of the mill supercars, but cars that are dope. As you can see here, dope designs and shit because I want to make dope designs and shit. So stickers, shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, shorts, hats, all that fun stuff. This has not been launched yet. We plan to launch it in October, the first week of October, along with something else in here. You know, things happen, people can't print stuff, you know, manufacturers do X, Y, and Z. So I'm saying the first week of October, roughly, I would like it to be there. But yeah, the whole point of the clothing is to have dope designs. That's really what I want to do, have clothing that any type of car enthusiast can wear and be confident in wearing and at any age can wear it confidently. You know, it's not like kid looking clothing. It is clothing that you could wear that you could feel confident in as a car enthusiast and that you could rep the car shit in. So lifestyle clothing, we went over that. Next up, media and content. Now you may also be thinking, well, Brandon, we already got Hoonigan and Donut Media. Why do we need more content. I'm glad you said that. Well, um, as you know, Donut and Hoonigan were bought out by private equity. They were acquired, fun business term, right? They were acquired. Most of the time with private equity, if it's not something so niche like this, they can make good in it. But buying a media company slash a feel good company, it's very much a risk because these suits don't like to have tons of fun. And these guys like to have tons of fun. And we can effectively say Donut and Hoonigan have fallen off heavily compared to what they were in 2020 and 2021. So I want to make old Donut and Hoonigan feeling videos. Now, we don't got the budget to go buy a project car and build it with the boys, right? That can't happen yet but I do want that to be the eventual thing. However, right now, we're really gonna hit home with the informational side of content. I feel I have a lot of, you know, info that I wanna share with people in regards to the sim racing space and also the racing space. I'm obsessed with cars. It's an issue. So right here, right now, I'm here to announce we are starting the Boundless Racing YouTube channel. Every single week, we're gonna be releasing a long video about something having to do with cars or sim racing. Our first video on Boundless Racing is releasing August 14th, 2024. That's Wednesday, August 14th at 3 p.m. EST. And just as a spoiler, it's gonna be about the evolution of sim racing games. I get really in depth. It's like 17 minute video 
about sim racing. I'm super pumped for you to see it. And we're gonna have videos just like that and more. Just really getting that old donut and hoonigan feel. Just car enthusiasts, sim racing enthusiasts as well, talking about the stuff. Really getting to the meat and potatoes of what we want to talk about. So, media and content, check. Oh, also to mention, we have an Instagram page. We're gonna be posting some patina research stuff, some clips from the long form stuff. Just getting a good feeling, good vibe brand going posting some content that people want to see some valuable and good content that is what we want to do with media and content as you can see i wrote down old donut slash hoonigan field just having some soul with things you know i don't want to be corporate with the media stuff i just want to have some soul like bring the soul back let's do it and our fourth thing which we come to now is sim solutions so Sim Racing Solutions, I am creating another vertical along with everything else in Sim Racing Solutions. Custom stuff and pre-configured stuff. Reason being is 99% of these turnkey simulation brands are just garbage, right? I see their posts, I see all this stuff, and the quality of work they're putting out is in no way, shape, or form good at all. It's half-assed, to be frank. Um, it's just not a good look. You, these people are paying tens of thousands of dollars to get simulators into their homes for them to use as a tool, or they just wanna have fun and buy them or make it a riot, whatever reason, right? Whatever it may be, it doesn't matter. It's just they want the best solution possible. And these people are just cash grabbing them. And it really, 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 really sucks to see. So with the Sim Solution stuffs, I wanna be genuine and the best on the market. I have been Sim Racing for 10 plus years. I've seen companies come and go. I've seen hardware come and go. I understand what's good and what's bad. That's why I bought this monitor here so I can start testing with stuff. I'm gonna buy some triples within the next month or so to test with triples, see what's the best triple setup and that sort of thing. And what I wanna do is have custom tailored plans to any racer, any enthusiast who wants the best simulator to make it feel as one-to-one -one as possible, as well as pre-configured rigs that, you know, will be more budget friendly, that people can finance, that people can buy, and you know, that they can enjoy, and it will feel like a worthy investment. I'm rambling on about the Sim Solution stuff because I'm really passionate about it. Like, I want people who want to invest that much into simulators, I want to help them out. And I want it to be a genuine form of business where it doesn't just seem like a cash grab, right? And as a side point, to some of you, all of this is gonna seem like a cash grab right but you have to understand in life not everything is free and i have worked hard to get to the point i'm at today and i plan to work five times as hard to get to the point that i want to take this company to make it super special and essentially this is going to be my baby like for the next few years like i want to build this thing out i want to build it up i have a vision for it i think i could do some great things and have some you know effect within the automotive space and i don't just want to sell stuff right i want to give stuff away i want to give back to the community because without a community how can this you know so with that said the sim solution side is done so just to recap boundless racing it's a master plan it's gonna have multiple verticals within the business it's gonna be community lifestyle clothing media and content sim solutions so be on the lookout for all that fun stuff and that my friends does it for this video. Be sure to subscribe to the Boundless Racing YouTube channel as we're dropping our first video this Wednesday. It is an absolute certified banger. And also be sure to follow me here as I give a subtle course of advice and I'm gonna be giving out more life updates, I guess. Videos like this, if you enjoyed it, leave a comment down below. If you didn't, then say I look like poop. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. I'll see you next time.